real scared. <laughs> Hopefully you can't just jump clear out because that would be very bad, huh? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this month I've been talking all about chinchillas. Chinchilla care, the pros and cons, even my secret tip, which if you missed any of those videos, make sure to check them out and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more of this. So at this point, you should be an expert on chinchilla care, right? But what is it actually like to own a chinchilla? Well, come follow me around for the day and I'll show you exactly what I do every single day with my chinchillas. Let's go. So we are going down to the chinchilla room so I can show you guys how I take care of my chinchillas. So I have four chinchillas. So this is my double unit. This is Harley Quinn. She is a white mosaic chinchilla. She's very interested in the camera. She is bonded to Miss Piglet. Miss Piglet is a gold bar, which means she's a pink white with a little bit of gold and she actually has red eyes. So they live in this double unit. And over here I have a triple unit. And this is where my two chinchillas that were bonded broke up so I had to split the cage. So the top two are Lola's cage which Lola is my dark ebony chinchilla. Um, she lives in this black hole because she is a black hole, but she's really super friendly. Your friendly little creature. She used to be bonded to my standard gray chinchilla, Matilda. We call her Mally for short, but this is Mally. If you guys want to hear the story about how they broke up, I do have a video all about that, so check that out. So today I actually have a lot of stuff to do with them. I have to clean their cage, clean their water bottles, and then I have to feed and water them. And we'll also do a playtime and we'll do a dust bath with them. So lots of stuff so you'll get the full picture of what it's like to own a chinchilla. So I actually pulled all of the dirty water bottles off so I can wash them all upstairs. But before we get into it, I actually made critical care cookies from my last video. You don't like it? Take it. You want this? What is this? Just like, get this away for me. Run that? Oh, into the hole it goes. Oh, she likes it. Are you the? Oh, we, we like this one. This is a good one. Yes. First thing I need to do is clean their cage. And what I do to start that off is I sweep all the poop up. So you want to sweep from the very topmost part of your cage and work your way down. This ensures you aren't sweeping poop on areas you've already cleaned. Next, we're going to take the fleece liner that I have on my shelf out and wash that liner. Then I use a dustpan and I take all of the bedding out and put it in a trash bag. Then I replace it with new bedding, which I use Aspen wood chips. And then I replace all of the cage accessories. And I do this all while they're still in the cage. Okay, so I'm in my bathroom and I'm going to clean the bowls and the water bottles. So I got my Dawn dish soap and a rag and a toothbrush and we're gonna clean these off. So our bowl's all clean and our bottles are all clean, so I will now feed them. So this is my pellet bin and I have a one fourth scoop cup and a one eighth scoop. And I know that these two is the perfect amount for my pear chinchillas. So you want to give them as much as they will eat in one day. 
and I know that this is about the amount that they eat. There's usually a little bit left, so that makes me comfortable giving them that much because I do change it out every day. So this is my Timothy hay. We're gonna put a handful of that into their hay feeder. And then I usually get them orchard hay, which I'm pretty much out of, but we'll give them a little flick. Single chinchillas, I give them basically half of this. So I give them a fourth cup just to be on the safe side. Put her food back in there. Now we're giving a smaller handful of Timothy hay to my single chinchillas. So a little bitty handful and I put that into her hay feeder. So she is now good. She has food, water, and her hay. And then her bedding was changed out. I use the aspen bedding just because I think it's heavier so it doesn't fly all over the cage and stick to this lovely creature. So I'm going to fill her water bottle up. This is the best stuff to give a chinchilla. It is purified with RO water or reverse osmosis. They're the best water bottles because they don't leak. And you can fill them while they're on the cage. It's really nice. After I clean their cage or feed them, I make sure to sweep anything that has gotten on the floor. Right now I'm setting up playtime. So I just have this wire fence and I'm just going to secure it with metal binder clips, which I'll show you in a minute. And then I have a couple enrichment items. So I have a dust bath, a couple hides, and I have another dust bath that I'm going to be using, which is this one. But I'm going to use this one to catch them and put them into the playpen because they're not too keen on being picked up and transported that way. So we are going to use the dust bath method and move them to their playpen. So I use paper clips to secure the opening so that my escape artists have less of a chance of escaping. So let's go fill a dust bath up and catch them. Okay, so this is my dust bath and I just need to put a layer of dust into the dust bath and I use the Axmo Poof. So I, it comes with these little cups. I don't usually use that because my dust bath is usually quite large. So I just pour it in here and I make sure there's enough to cover the bottom. So that looks about good. All I need to do is put this in their cage, which they're already excited about it. And then I'm gonna cover up this hole and bring them into their play area. And hopefully they don't escape into their cage. And then wait for them to go in there. Oh, there's one. Hopefully she stays in there. Come in. Oh, perfect. Okay, so the hole is covered. And we're just going to take both of them <laughs> into a playpen. And hopefully they don't run out of playpen. Oh. I'm sure that lid doesn't come up. Okay, now they are in playpen, and I will be in playpen. Oh, I'm real scared. <laughs> Hopefully you can't just jump clear out, because that would be very bad, huh? <laughs> oh, here comes the pig. Oh, piglet. 
We like this hut. Hello. We'll try to escape. We got some tall things here. Could totally jump out. It makes nervous. But you look very cute in there. Into dust bath? No. Look how soft you are. So soft. So soft. So soft. Let's see. Here you are. You wanna give me a nice roll? Oh. oh. Nicest of dust baths. There's like no dust in there. It is not safe in open water. I cannot touch the butt. Oh. You can do it. Oh. Here we go. Now you're out of the dust bath. What a brave ginger. You're so brave. Are you scared? Oh. So perfect. So now I just have to catch Quinn. She's being difficult. So, trying to wait and see if she will go into this dust bath. But I think she's pretty upset that I took all of her things out of here. So, she might try to escape. Do you think you want to escape? Don't want to pick her up because she's going to start squealing like a pig. Oh, there we go. Okay. Do that. Yes. Okay, let's see. Uh, there she is. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get them each a little ball. So each cage will get a little ball. So I don't think I can do this with one hand. Come here. What do you think? Look at that. Right. <laughs> it's a little really ball. These usually last a day, not even. But you need to provide toys for them so that they can trim down their teeth because like a lot of rodents, their teeth are always growing. So they need to chew on things in order to file those down. So now that they are all set for the night, I usually go back upstairs and go to sleep but before I go, I have a question for you. Was this video helpful? And if it was, mash that like button to let me know. And then I'll do more content just like this to help you guys out. And I would love to hear all of your experiences as chinchilla owners. This I also feel will help anyone who is still curious about their care and what it's like. If you guys still need help with preparing for your fluffy family member, make sure to check out my chinchilla care guide in the link in the description below. And like I said earlier, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get notified each time I post. And if you did miss those videos beforehand, make sure to check out these videos next. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.